Hey guys, it's Shane from Jags Journey. I'm back today at Dreamworld Theme Park in the Gold Coast. Now, I thought I'd come back today just to give you guys a few quick updates. There's been some more progress on construction in the park, so we thought that we'd share that with you today. Anyway, let's go now and check it out. So why don't you come on with me and join the journey. Alright, so the first thing we'll do is we'll check out the progress of the Dreamworld Flyer. There's definitely a bit more progress since last week, but it uh, looks like still a fair bit more to go. Again, we should start to see the base of the Dreamworld Flyer uh, coming up there out of the ground. Uh, very very soon. I know I keep saying that but it can't be far away now It just looks like there's uh, so much more completed as far as all of the concreting is concerned So apparently the Dreamworld Flyer will be open around December and it's going to feature over 300 water fountains as well So it's going to look absolutely awesome right at the front of the park And don't forget, while there is still some construction going on, uh, if you want to go to Tiger Island Serpent Slayer or the Parent Centre, uh, you're going to have to go over the bridge there to Kenny and Belinda's Dreamland as per the sign here, because uh, obviously access is uh, cut, all cut off down the other end near the arcade while you're doing the construction. And just a reminder that Claw is down on annual maintenance and reopens again on the 16th of September. So again, this area next to the game site arcade is still closed off. Uh, still doing a lot of work down there toward the uh, seabed splash zone, but uh, you can definitely see more painting has happened since our last visit of the rock wall there by the Dodgem entry. Anyway, we'll go into the uh, arcade and we'll have a look through the window and uh, check out the progress of the deep sea Dodgems. Well, you can see they've definitely put a bit more paintwork into the rock work that's uh, coming through into the uh, Dodgem area. Uh, but as far as the Dodgem area is concerned, they're still doing a lot of work in here, and I'd say they've still got a fair way to go. But the ceiling's in and it's all been painted, and the back net has now also been painted since our last visit. Well, it's definitely good to see the uh, theming is uh, obviously being started, or the de-theming of the old theme, now that the uh, back wall is all blue and the ceiling's blue as well. So yeah, I guess in the next probably few weeks we should start to see a lot more theming happening, because this is still due to open on the 1st of September. And I'd say definitely there should be probably a statue or something on here. Definitely there's some electrical um, conduit there coming out, so something will be lit up at the entry, or the extended, uh, entry of the Ocean Parade. Alright, so we're going to head around the other way now through Kenny and Belinda's Dreamland and uh, check out uh, Kenny's Forest Fire roller coaster because apparently it's now open. Don't forget, you can also get show bags here now at Dreamworld at the show bag pavilion. Well, it's probably more of a show bag truck than a pavilion, but you know what I mean. As you're probably aware, you can come to Dreamworld Fridays and Saturday nights between 5 and 9. They have the night food markets. Uh, now, this one here, Flaming Ribs, obviously it's closed right now because it's open for the night, but um, you've got all the smoked briskets and meats here, and the smoke is going right now. I'll tell you what. The smell is unbelievable. And the ribs here are really good as well. Briskets are uh, delicious, really tender. 
but you can see that smoking away and again if you can just smell that it is unbelievable definitely one to check out here at the night food markets flaming roots that one is actually owned and run by dream world um, the rest of the trucks that come in are all independently owned food trucks All right, so Kenny's Forest Flyer has now opened. I think it opened uh, two days ago. Uh, you can see they've actually put in uh, grass into the uh, ground area, uh, which looks heaps better, actually. So it looks really nice. And obviously there's that uh, finished pathway now, obviously for their high lift vehicle for maintenance. Obviously they've taken away all the Madagascar theming that was originally in here. And just put some nice uh, native plants in here now. This is on the way to um, get on the ride to the queuing area. So yeah, really nice, I guess, foresty feel through here. Ties in really well with the theme. Looks awesome. So the uh, self-service ride photo kiosk uh, is here and uh, looks like it's uh, open now and it's displaying the photos on there from Kenny's Forest Flyer. It's a bit of reflections we can't really see. Uh, it's definitely awesome to see Kenny's Forest Flyer open now. Um, I can't see any signage anywhere so maybe they've still got to do a signage and maybe a little bit of extra theming. I think the artwork had some like uh, leaves, or like probably metal or plasticky leaves sort of theming around the coaster. I mean, that may or may not happen, but um, yeah, at least it's for now it's open and people are on it and looks like they're having heaps of fun. And just a reminder, the Bananas in Pajamas Fun Maze is now open next to Belinda's Treehouse. And there's also the original one still at the ABC Kids Land uh, for now, until that gets uh, taken down in around October. And uh, as we're aware, in October they're going to start to demolish ABC Kids World in preparation for Rivertown. Hey guys, so the candy floor is still down on annual maintenance and this is due to reopen again on September the 13th. with the Wiggles Big Red Roller Coaster construction they have started doing some uh, concreting around the edge here and putting some markers in around the perimeter uh, so yeah and there's some, some more pegs essentially in the area as well I reckon we'll definitely start to see heaps of construction starting to happen on the Wiggles roller coaster real soon. And it looks like more parts of the theming have arrived for the Seabed Splash Zone as well. And looks like some new theming uh, in the way of a couple of poles there have gone in at the entry to the deep sea dodgem area which look really cool so yeah more theming is arriving more paintings happening this is progressing really fast and yes so far it's still on track to open for the september school holidays but don't forget the dodgem should be open on the first of september Once again, uh, at the end of October, this whole ABC Kids World will be uh, starting to be demolished, uh, making way for Rivertown, uh, which we cannot wait for. So excited to see uh, Jungle Rush roller coaster, uh, Mississippi motors, cars. It's going to be such an awesome area, really well themed too. It's going to be so immersive. 
So can't wait for Rivertown to be open in 2024. And of course, part of that is the play school wheel will also be relocated to Kenemba Linda's Dreamland. Hey guys, by the way, the motor coaster roller coaster is actually down on maintenance currently and reopens again on the 26th of August. And if you haven't been back to ride the giant drop yet here at Dreamworld, make sure you come down and ride this on your next visit. It is one awesome attraction. And there's no scheduled maintenance plan for Steel Taipan, so make sure you get down here and ride that roller coaster on your next visit. Hey guys, by the way, I just wanted to thank everyone who buys me coffees uh, and supports my channel that way. Uh, it really does help support Jag's journeys. And also, if you're wanting something special like a birthday message or something special or extra, uh, feel free to use the Buy Me A Coffee platform and I can help you out that way as well. Hey guys, that's going to do it for my look today here at Dreamworld Theme Park in the Gold Coast. I hope you enjoyed the video today. Just a quick update today to keep you updated on what's happening here at Dreamworld with all the construction and ride closures. Anyway guys, if you do like this kind of content, make sure you subscribe for more. Don't forget to check us out on TikTok, Threads, Facebook and Instagram. And by the way, next time you're at one of the Gold Coast theme parks, why don't you ask the staff on the way in, hey, is Jags Journeys here today? You never know where I might be. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next journey.